Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here and we are in Goodwill. It's been about three weeks since I've been in Goodwill because of my retina detachment. I had to go through surgery and all of that. Uh, gas bubble's pretty small. Out driving again. Here's some lures that I found. Uh, nothing great. I decided to just kind of buy it for myself. Maybe you could lot them together. Uh, these Defiant things, I know these come from Home Depot. I thought, eh, these are probably worth picking up. $7.99. Um, no, they're selling for $6.50 on Amazon with free shipping. So not worth picking up for $7.99. Looking for some more stuff that we can sell on eBay or Amazon or anywhere, really. And not seeing a whole lot here. Spot this Merlin up here. Uh, I actually forgot to look it up after I was done recording. I was going to come back. I don't think it's worth anything there. Uh, but you never know. I always say look up stuff just because you'll be shocked at what is valuable and what is selling. Uh, but yeah, I forgot. I don't like to turn off the camera in the middle of recording when I'm trying to make a video. So I try to make mental notes to come back. Here's a NASCAR uh, racing toy. A lot of that collectible stuff I don't buy. There's so much of it and so much of it is not worth anything. And I, I'll be honest, I hate doing research on it. So I do leave a lot like the Hot Wheels there. Unfortunately, looking at some of this stuff, I'm noticing that it's the same stuff I have saw three weeks ago. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just not getting a lot of new stuff. Here's some curling iron, not curling irons, curling, uh, what are they? Rollers, I guess is what you call them. I don't know. I've never curled my hair. Um, some of them are worth money. And actually, I come across some that I buy today. I did look those up. They weren't worth anything. Here is a Hunter emergency monitor. I don't know what that was exactly, uh, but not really valuable. It's just a bit too old. I think it was for ceiling fans. Now this one here is a bit older and a bit more desirable. So I did end up picking up this item. And uh, yeah, you know, my first morning back was pretty good. I can't really complain about that. So I just got my first Goodwill since my surgery. It's been about two and a half, three weeks. Feels good to be back out there. Let me show you what I got. I got some vintage rollers here. Uh, it's funny because I literally just posted a video from before my surgery where some people pointed out in the comments that I missed. I don't know if it's this, these exact ones I missed. Um, I know to pick up vintage rollers. Uh, I've just sold some recently, actually. Uh, I just didn't see these on the shelf um, to pay attention to them before if they are even the same ones um i'm gonna have to check the video but yeah i'm picking these up looks like they're gonna sell i'll probably price them about 35 40 bucks plus shipping looks like they'll sell for that then i just picked up these lures because well i do some fishing and for 2.99 the case and the lures and the stuff in there is worth it um the lures you know nothing great i could probably make money just doing a lot and selling these maybe for like 15 20 bucks probably not worth my time really so i'll just you know throw them in the tackle box then we picked up this disney hoodie uh this is a vintage disney world where dreams come true hoodie um just picked that up because a lot of vintage disney world stuff does pretty well honestly i'm not sure what you would sell it for maybe 20 between 20 and 30 dollars max but for four dollars and some change i think it was worth picking up unfortunately I, this is all i'm going to is one goodwill today because i don't want to stress out my eye too much so i'm going to head home and get some work done i'm going to continue this vlog when i go back out so it is the next morning and i'm in the exact same goodwill as yesterday and they put out some new items including these baseball gloves here when i saw this one right here i knew i was picking it up then i saw 12.99 i'm like ooh, maybe Maybe I'm picking it up, but I did. They both were good gloves here. This Mizuno for $9.99. At the end of the video, of course, I go over everything uh, that I picked up and how much I think I can sell it for. Uh, I can actually tell you I already sold the Mizuno glove since I'm doing this voiceover a day later because I listed it and it sold really quick. I sold it for $45. Uh, there's a learn and read system back there. Mm, I forget what the price was on that. I looked it up. It just wasn't that great. Hot Wheels, again, I don't like messing with Hot Wheels too much. I look to see if they have a treasure chest logo on them because the treasure hunt Hot Wheels are easy to spot and they are worth money. Uh, the red lines, I know about those. Other than that, if you scan them with the UPC, they share a UPC with other cars. So you have to look up the model, each individual one, and they can be worth picking up. 
Uh, taking the label off as well from thrift stores. Just, uh, I don't like doing it. I just bought this though, this Mickey Mouse ornament set from 93, I think it was. It was $4.99 and I did end up looking that up after I was done filming and I picked it up because it was worth it. Uh, here I see this Nintendo DS, uh, 3DS, Zelda. I'm like, oh, I know it's not going to be in here. They're never in here. Whoa, it's in there. Then I flip it over and I see they have $24.99 on it. It sells new for $18, $20 on eBay. Not worth picking up. I was very disappointed because right before my surgery, I picked up a mint condition 3DS for $20. And then you find the 3DS game and they want $5 more than what the system was. You just never know in Goodwill what you're going to get. Uh, somebody's just going to steal that. Uh, it's going to be stolen probably by the end of today. And it's just going to be gone and if they would have priced it in a normal even if they priced it up to five dollars um it would have been all right but they, yeah, they priced it a little too high i'm not seeing much other new items today but it just goes to show you that you can go to goodwill in the morning and then come back to the same goodwill even in the afternoon and find new stuff you can go in there come back 10 minutes later and find new stuff if they brought out a cart and put it out so it's there's a lot of luck in thrifting and you just gotta go in there as much as you can and uh, hopefully you find something amazing like I found today. So I just got out of a Goodwill, the same one I went to yesterday. It is the next day. Uh, $12.99 I paid for this baseball glove here and I could not find this model on eBay. There were no solds. Uh, I did a Google search and all the stores were sold out that had it in stock before does say limited edition a lot of these Rawlings limited edition gloves can go for hundreds this one was selling new for over a hundred uh, at a lot of these sports stores so I think this is a pretty good pickup uh, I'm gonna do some more research and I'm probably gonna price this minimum a hundred dollars as of right now I might price it more or less depending on what I find out after doing more research I also picked up this Mizuno glove here for $9.99 and it sells for about 40 bucks so grab that we're going to make some great profit on that picked up these vintage mickey mouse ornaments from 1993 still in the box mickey has fallen off the horse he'll have to be glued back on but they're mechanical if they actually work fine they're in great condition otherwise it's probably a 50 dollars sale around christmas uh, i saw some on ebay that sold already for about 30 plus shipping so around 40 bucks, but I think I can get a bit more. And then we picked up, uh, well, we didn't pick up this laptop. I was doing my uh, day trading in the car when the market opened. Uh, I usually bring my laptop with me if I'm going to be out. And I did make $220 on the trade, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I picked up these two rackets here. One of these is a Yonix, which is a great brand to look for. Um, RQ300. This racket, eh, it's about a $30 racket plus shipping. And the Hammer 2.0 is like $25. 30 bucks both good rackets uh a little scraped up but other than that they're in pretty good condition but they're only 2.99 so yeah i'm definitely gonna buy those anytime you look at these rackets when you're doing comps look for things like the os which is for oversize it can really matter in the price if that hammer 6.2 was oversized it would be like a 50 dollars racket also the grip size four and a half four and three eighths that kind of thing uh, makes a difference as well in price. But I'm going to go to Salvation Army today and we're going to see if we can find anything else. So not much happening in Salvation Army, but I see this table set and I kind of want it. $39.99, not the cheapest, but it is in really good condition. Just like a little breakfast table, I kind of have a spot for it in the future, just not right now. So I did end up passing on it, but I thought it was pretty good since they really upped the price on furniture at this store. Uh, drop something there in the clothing. I did end up picking that up after I was done filming. Uh, yeah, just kind of looking through the jackets, trying to find something. Not a whole lot of great stuff in the clothing, but Salvation Army, in my opinion, is the best place to find clothing. Partypoker.com, my first poker playing site when I was playing poker. I was actually pretty good at poker, was making some decent money, and of course they made it illegal in the united states for tax reasons basically online poker so yeah i had to move on to something else but not seeing much in the clothing 
Uh, but I did check the shoes and there were some great half price shoes and even 99 cent tagged shoes that I found here. Some Allen Edmonds and some Sauconies and some great pickups in Salvation Army and it was all cheap. So I got a Salvation Army and got some good finds. Paid $8.52 for all these shoes and these Adidas Notre Dame uh, track pants. Um, they might be vintage, probably not though. Either way, they were only two bucks, so I went ahead and picked them up. We probably sell them for $20, $25. Got some Allen Edmonds. These things were uh, $7.99, but they were green tags were $0.99. Cents. So for $0.99, cents, I certainly picked these up. Uh, they're in great condition. It's not a high-end Allen Edmonds shoe, but... I could probably sell these for between 30 and 40 bucks. Uh, and these Saucony shoes, which were $7.99, these were also 99 cents. They're a little worn, but for 99 cents, I'd probably sell them for 20, so I just went and picked them up. And then we got these shoes, which are very interesting. These are uh, G Defy. I had never heard of them, but they look like they're pretty unique. So I saw the little spring. I'm like, oh, I bet these are pricey sure enough it looks like the comps are really good i think this pair i'm looking at selling for about 50 dollars plus shipping right now uh maybe a bit more after i do some research but it looks like the comps are great on those so great finds in salvation army and i just remembered there's another thrift store not far i haven't been to in a month so i'm gonna go hit that real quick so now i'm in the veterans thrift store it's been about a month since i've been in here so pretty excited to look around there's some shoes they look new pretty sure they're new i thought they might be san antonio shoe company shoes they were not they looked kind of cheap like walmarty prices in here can be very random just never know that that pair of shoes might have been 40 dollars. <laughs> i don't know uh it's starting to get a bit better however you again you just never know what somebody's going to price something at that they think's valuable that you don't think is valuable uh, not a lot of great shoes some but they're not good models For four dollars there. I think they were just not really worth picking up and I got dozens and dozens of pairs of shoes to list I list shoes every week It feels like and I just can't get into my shoe death pile because I'm always finding new shoes so Nothing really over here um, some calculators No good high-end calculators this Panasonic tape recorder Maybe it's worth picking up, but I got like 15 tape recorders like that from a garage sale and I just haven't tested them or dealt with them yet and they're probably going down in value every day. So yeah, um, I'm not going to pick up another one. It was kind of in rough shape. Uh, someone else can pick it up and test it. A lot of those tape recorders don't end up working anyway because of the rotted like rubber band motors in there. Uh, duck made in china i think it was not really worth it uh i've saw this in here before and i didn't pick it up today i decided to buy it it's just a latch hook kit i've done very well with them this one isn't the greatest latch hook kit uh for a dollar 99 i picked it up some generic cassette player not really interested but we'll go over and look in the toys here and see if we can find anything there's so much to look at Everything's just kind of thrown everywhere and they don't run sales. So people don't buy the junk and the junk just keeps piling up uh, and anything good probably sells pretty quick. Games. Does anyone see any games I missed? I do see a chess set. Do you guys see it? Uh, I did end up picking that up. Uh, I didn't see it when I was recording, but afterwards I did spot it. And it's a pretty good pickup. So I'm out of the Veterans Thrift Store and ended up doing pretty well in there, I think. Uh, inside the glass case, I almost didn't notice it because the camera wasn't even out. It was in the bag. And I just noticed a price tag for the K1000 Pentax here, which I've sold before. Uh, it was $19.99 for the camera and then $10 for the lens. So um, I'm in at $30, but it has all the manuals, the flash, you know, everything you would want. And I think with this lens and the condition that this thing is in, it's pretty minty. Um, I think this is going to be a $200 sale. No problem. I picked up this chess set, Fidelity Electronics. Uh, I believe they're one of the first people who made electronic chess sets. So if you find the first one, it seems like it was like $77. It can be worth over $300. Uh, this one is a smaller one. Looks like it even has some cartridges and stuff. 
quick glance on eBay, this thing was $30 plus shipping. I'm going to do more research to see which one this is exactly, but it was only 99 cents. If all the pieces are in there and it works, it's going to be some great profit. Then for $1.99, I just picked up this latch hook kit because why not? It's sealed. I've had some good luck with latch hook kits, selling them for anywhere from $20 to $80. This one is vintage. It's not the most exciting content, but cats are pretty popular, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll put this on eBay. Uh, I really don't know how much. I'll just have to pop it in the corner there, what I think I'll make on that. So that's going to be all the thrifting for today, but I got to get some work done. Uh, it is deep into fourth quarter now, and I need to get this stuff to Amazon. Um, a lot of it anyway. Actually, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in this garage. I know those can go. I got some sump pumps here. I don't think I need to send those. Uh, I honestly don't have a lot of Christmas stuff. I didn't buy a lot. Uh, just some inflatables. We need to get that sent into Amazon. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video, everybody. I really want to thank you for watching. I'm going to get some work done now. A great morning, great profits, trading and thrifting. But before you go, hit that like button for me. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And don't forget to be subscribed. Or you'll miss videos. Actually, if you are subscribed, ring that bell as well because you will miss videos. This has been Wick. Till next time.